In the previous examples, we analyzed lesions with clear-cut differences in terms of network. In real life, and especially in patients with multiple nevi, it is very frequent to find lesions with variable degrees of network irregularity. The point is that to set the right threshold between typical and atypical network is a matter of experience. At the beginning of our learning curve with demoscopy, we are prone to consider atypical a much higher number of lesions. As soon as we improve our knowledge of the many phases of benign nevi, our gray zone decreases and a better threshold between normal and abnormal is found. Here a patient with multiple moles. His nevi are all reticular and show various degrees of network irregularity. But these are all different phases of reticular nevi belonging to the spectrum of normality. Again, the same patient as before, with a few additional reticular lesions. However, the degree of irregularity of lesion D does not belong anymore to the range of normality. This is an atypical network because there is clearly more than one type of network within the lesion. Histopathologic examination revealed the melanoma in situ. In summary, a single lesion with clear-cut atypical network must be excised. The second, most important melanoma-specific feature is represented by regression. In this melanoma, the most striking feature is the large area composed of blue pepper-like granules over a white scar-like background, corresponding in histopathology to melanophages and fibrosis respectively. Scar-like areas are usually whiter than the surrounding skin and usually correspond to a clinically flat portion of the lesion. Clinical palpability is the most important criterion to differentiate regression structures from blue-white veil. The latter is an area of compact blue-white color corresponding to an elevated portion of the lesion. Histopathologically, blue-white veil correlates to a thickened epidermis and the proliferation of melanoma cells intermingled with melanophages within the dermis. The different histopathologic correlate is the reason why it is important to differentiate blue-white veil from regression structures, being the former associated to melanomas with higher thickness as is the case here. This is an example of melanoma showing both regression and blue-white veil corresponding to the flat and the elevated areas respectively. Especially in the context of regression, again, the difference is made by the amount of this feature as observed in a given lesion. As shown in this figure, small areas of regression can be present in many nevi, and this should not be considered as an equivocal finding, especially when there are multiple lesions as such within the same patient. Less than 10% of the lesion surface involved by regression should be considered within the range of normality, as is the case of the nevus here. In addition, hypopigmented areas due to the presence of hair follicles should be differentiated from white areas of regression because of their roundish shape, the small size and the color, which is not whiter than the surrounding skin.